for joining us, everybody. Sorry for the delay. Uh, today is September 17th, and this is Heal, Teach, Love with Rick Debrissell and Philip Barrow. And I'm going to introduce myself for those of you that are new. Um, I'm Deb, and this is my husband, Rick. <laughs> About six years ago, some very miraculous and highly spiritual events happened in our lives. While I was busy saying decrees at night and keeping or raising my vibration, uh, while asking my guides to find my joy, I had no idea I was raising my husband's too while he was asleep in the next room. My wish of finding my joy encompassed him without my knowing. He started seeing orbs shortly after that and then angels and beings, ascended masters and then creator. Her white light came one afternoon and merged his energy with my husband. It was after that that everything changed. Rick became a healer and I started receiving downloads of information. Our gifts have only increased since then and as we continue to grow. Rick has all of the clairs as do I. Uh, we share the same higher self during this journey as well. It is our honor to be here today to assist you in your and your loved ones along with the with our esteemed associate Philip Barrow. That's a, your turn. I should have written one myself, shouldn't I? I'll do that next time. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've been healing since I was about five year old. Uh, the first first being I ever was healing, I had a goldfish called Ovix, and it was dead two days. It's in a jam jar. I got hold of it, started giving it a kiss of life, and my hands glowed orange, which they've never done since. And it became a lot. It started becoming alive. Now I thought everyone had this uh, technique ability, but everyone has, but a bit rusty. They, they don't realise they've got the healing ability. They just got to themselves up a bit. I started connecting with earth energies at seven or eight. Started doing worry work at eleven. Uh, used to have cues of people for healing at, at wherever I work. And then uh, 20 years ago, I became a credited dealer, a two-year college course, which as the person who was doing it said, I had the gifts from day one. They could have given me the certificate then. And uh, I crystal, a credited crystal healer. Uh, last few years, I've been healing, doing uh, teaching children to heal and use crystals at a school, which I might be doing again shortly. And uh, this is all voluntary. And I also do an healing centre once a week. Uh, what I like doing, I like um, partially merging with aspect of mind for knowledge yeah, te yeah. technique. And the, these, this knowledge helps me doing the healing. And I like to bring in new techniques that no one's ever done before. And if there is any, I'll just give it out. I'm not, I'm not that particular, really. So I think that's about it. Isn't it? Any more? <laughs> Guys, uh, Bobby's picture is right here. Do you have problems again? Well, he's always like coughing. It could be more of the allergies, more related. But I never know. I mean, I did my best to 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 heal him, shield him almost daily, and giving him energy. And I never know what what I will pick up because you know I get attacked all the time, and he gets attacked all the time. I'm not getting anything for him, so you're doing a good job. <laughs> I'm not either. He's good. That's good. Um, yeah. why is he always coughing then? Choking away and sometimes barking at things because I shield it. You know, maybe they manage to come. In in and they attack him and they leave you know i don't know what it is I, i'm really i don't i can't i can't answer that but if I'm not getting anything now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So whatever you're doing, you're doing a really, really good job. Well, it's good to know. What about myself? I don't read it. I haven't done you yet. <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought <laughs> you were going to be doing the two of you at the same time. Uh, multitasking. <laughs> I love you, baby. He's so cute. He knows I'm talking about him, so he's staring at me. I'm getting something behind your on, on your neck that needs healing. If it is your neck sore, not right now. Okay, but um, it might have been, you know, that that, that entity. Well, it could, that it could be something in the future. So I'm going to do some healing. Um, we're going to okay. do some healing now. So you may feel some heat or vibration there. Oh, wait, I forgot. Any chance you can heal my niece? My niece has a problem with her spinal cord, the one with the degenerative problem. Find her picture somewhere. You know, Victoria, I was, think, I was thinking, have you got a bad back? And I bet you were thinking of her when I'm healing you. I really do think that. See, because it, she's on your mind, I'm probably actually checking her out, if you get what I mean. Yeah, I was intending to get her healed, and I forgot about her. Yeah. And it's just horrible. You guys healed her last time, Um, you know, reverse her she DNA, not seeing her, her back went from this like that it's really sad to see her losing her confidence and she she, she has an she has an angelic um always happy she has an angelic um personality she's really kind and warm and now she's depressed and sad all the time it's heartbreaking oh no i have to find a picture of her and you're probably guided because you know that she's healing healed. and doing trying to straighten it for her moving it back bit by bit just bit by bit um did how old twice. is she now she's like 15 14 15 around there 
there? She's too young to go through that. I mean, I could imagine you're 80, 90 years old, you know what I mean? To find a picture. I don't have her pictures on. Only one. Oh, my phone just died. Crashed it. We can come back to you, okay? All right. You want to give, um, your, we, we, we've done healing on you, so mm-hmm. remember to drink a lot of water. Because I was healing her. Yeah. So I was taking it on. Yeah, I so was picking it up. Right, and I'm not messing up somewhere, then I will keep doing it. Thank but you. But ground so yourself much. afterwards. Ground yourself. Yeah. Oh, don't, okay. Don't let me to ground it. <laughs> what Sorry. you could do is you could put, I've just been told now, you, this is me, you could put an energy along the back, add in it, an energy field, and then you can control it to go straight. There you go. So create yes. an energy an energy field, yeah? Mm-hmm. Create, make it a little physical and non-physical. So it's on the back. And then you do it slowly so it starts straightening up. I was actually using my own energy to do it and my, my own chi. And it was yeah. working, but I just didn't know how well it works. Cause it yeah, yeah it, it's, it's okay sending the energy, your chi energy or your prana energy. It's okay mm-hmm. doing that. But manifest a, a bar of energy on the back, yeah? Okay, Perfect. love you guys. Nice. Mm-hmm. Love you too. Lily? Hey, now the next one is Celia. <laughs> Surprise. You're, I, I think you're on mute, Celia. Can you hear me now? Yes. yes. Okay, got it. Okay, I just need a follow up on my husband. Uh, a couple months ago, remember he's he's having um, right side of his face uh, bells oh, palsy. The bells palsy since October of last year. Mm-hmm. So a couple months ago, the right face and all of the right side are now numb and tingling. So I thought it was just um, you know something that sometimes you know I, I I will feel tingly and I can get out of it once I exercise and he exercises every day. So, but it's been a couple months. It hasn't, you know, I, it, it feels like um, he's especially having pain on the rib side because the right side is all numb, right? So, do, do you need a picture, Deb? Yeah, okay. yeah, I would do. That. Okay, one what second. was his name? Is this, uh, his name? Darvin, D A R V I N. Okay, there you go. Oops. Has he gone to a doctor? He did when he had um, the Bell's palsy, right? No, oh, no, not uh-huh. with Bell's palsy. Um, with a stone, kidney stone. But right after the kidney stone, he had the Bell's palsy. He wasn't operated on. I, you know, he just passed it. We didn't even know that it was. Uh, kidney stones. Is he left handed? No. He's right handed. Yes. And this is all on his right side? Yeah. Phil, do you still need the picture up? You can take it down. I can't remember. He didn't have the lollipop, right? Lo- what's lollipop? Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <clears throat> the first message I got was that he had a stroke. That's what I, I, you know, thought it was a mild one because it just happened and he just yeah. felt it, but he didn't get dizzy. Or but anything. I'm trying to find where, where <laughs> it happened, where, what part of his body it's. Deb, I, I'm trying to reprogram the brain. You're saying that and I'm trying to reprogram the brain. So it does add up, doesn't it? Yeah, it does add up. Yeah. Uh. He's got a blockage here, this artery, the carotid artery. We need to clear this out. And that's where the that's where the stroke happened here. It's not a full blockage. That's so when we clean it, we need to dissolve it so nothing is in his arteries. Okay. He may feel like warm water going through him because it's creator energy is going in diamond light, going in diamond crystalline energy into his heart. And then when it pumps out, it pumps in out molten golden energy. It goes through his whole blood system and it's going to be doing this for the next seven days. So every time his heart rate pumps out, every every artery, every vein, every even in his skin, everything's going to be molten gold. It's constantly pumping through and healing every organ in his body. So it's going to, he's going to feel this warm water, like what feeling going through his chest, down his legs, uh, his arms, into his face, his head. And it's actually starting right now. His whole chest is done. His stomach is now going down in his arms and his legs and into his respiratory neck, his head, now down past his neck, knees. So it's going to clear all his arteries and all his, heal everything. Phil, did you have anything? Yeah, uh, there's been a lot of work done in his brain, actually. I know his, and also his nerve endings. I've tried to reprogram it a little bit with energy. Uh, and just see, it, see, let us know if he improves with that. Yeah, a lot of work's been done, actually. A, a lot inside of that. The brain can repair everything in the body. Yeah. It's just got to know that's the problem. Yeah. And if parts of the brain get a bit faulty, they just need a bit of energy to, to tweak them up a bit, tune them up. When he wakes up, I'll tell him to drink a lot of water. Yeah. Yeah, he, he works at night, so he sleeps like 6 a.m. in the morning, so he's... 
he won't be. Well, okay. it's good that this is happening during the sleep. He'll, That's he'll, right. Um, yeah, yeah. Let us know how he's doing. Yeah, I'll email you. Thank you so much. You're welcome, You're welcome. both of you. Draw a card for okay. Sure. No. I'm gonna seal up all his. I'm gonna seal the his orc field and everything too. Does he have? A, I'm, I'm getting a bad back tonight. Does he have a what? Bad, bad back. back. Yeah, he has yeah. an arthritis on the spinal golem on the lower. Well, it, if I've got the pain, then he's had some energy cleared up. <laughs> Dreams and balance. He's probably dream, dreaming about us, even. Imbalance. Okay. <laughs> That's a joke. Uh, dreams. He's being sent messages in his dreams. He so... has vivid dreams, and he, yeah. can, he can remember his dreams. I can't. Mm. Me either. I can't remember mine. <laughs> <laughs> but he has some vivid dreams. I mean. Yeah, that's about right then. <laughs> uh, if he needs help, just ask, ask the universe. That's what balance means. And no help. Okay, so. yes. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> And the next one, actually, I placed my name on it. It's I your turn. Yep. Okay. Well, I can't and see it. I can't see it. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me, okay, Lily, what's going on? Okay. You feeling your throat issue again? Mm -hmm. Never leave. The strangest thing, I can see somebody coming and, and choking her. What the heck? Does it feel like somebody's coming and choking you? No, at one time at night, but it was only one time. When? Was it recently? I like in May, but uh, in May. I even covered all our mirrors. <laughs> it was like, I don't know. I thought, did we close the portals in your house? We would have done. The second time, no. Yeah, long time. In June, yeah, we closed it. I believe the last time she had talked to her on the phone. Have you seen that woman? I blocked her already. Have you seen her outside of the house? Have yeah, the last time was the last time was in the garden because I have to give away my apples and plums. There are very many. And yeah, she came over to get some. We harvested some. And so funny because I got sick again for three days. So I blocked her. After that, I blocked her. How when was that? Um last night, ten days ago. I'm picking up some dark energy don't Ten days ago. I think is she did you tell me have you said she's she, she you like a witch something. yeah she yeah, yeah, yeah she, she was crying. talking like so and then i told her you're a witch mm. that's what came out from my mouth when she talked because she is <laughs> yeah I know. yeah she no, practices witch. witchcraft yes because she is mm. Mm. i i had hit a three days after we picked apples and plums i said i cannot Maybe she is, and then she don't know. Yeah, she does. She know. knows. She knows. Well, I'm, I'm creating something so whatever she go attacks you with, it'll just get rebounded. It'll go into her. Mm -hmm. Lily, you are very, very. You're pure love, and you are very sweet. Um, mm -hmm. And you also have the ability to know when somebody's evil. Um, yeah. You do have that, uh, but you give them the benefit of the doubt. Mm -hmm. And rather than following your instincts, you you say, well, maybe I'm wrong. And, yeah, you let them, and, and you let them get too close, and this is what happens. Always trust your instincts. Always I trust your gifts. Stop letting them get close. Mm -hmm. Okay. Stop saying, oh, maybe I'm wrong. No, you're I always... Right. I did say that. I even told my husband. I know it's wrong. I know, and <laughs> you cannot do this because you okay. put yourself in danger, especially now when mm -hmm. you know that somebody is evil. Walk away. Mm -hmm. Because you're very nice and you're very kind and you will help them. And then what happens? You get ill because they take advantage. Yeah, I get ill. Yes. I have to take and, and you're not you're not a warrior, and neither am I. Phil is a warrior. <laughs> I can't. I don't. I don't have the gifts that he does because I. I'm not. I'm. I'm here to heal people. I'm not here to. You know, to be a warrior. And I don't have. I don't have the skills that he does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and neither do you. Until that time that we have those skills, yeah. <laughs> walk away. Yeah, Deb. I quite agree. I will. I will. I have blocked her already. All. No, you have to. You have to trust. You really have to trust your. Your gift is is knowing that these people are not nice people. Yeah, she even called me on Sunday, and then she wants me to take care of her three year old daughter. I said, "Where are you going?" Then she said, "I will have a tattoo." I said, "No, <laughs> I will not take care of your daughter, and then you will go have a tattoo." It's Sunday. There's no all doors are closed. You cannot fool me. I am long time in Germany. Said, no, I said no, and that's the last time. And then I block her. Yeah, you you you've got to yeah. You should have blocked her a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, I should, yeah. I hope that listen to you. Now it is. Yeah. <sighs> if she tries anything now, it'll just go back to her. 
Thank you. So if, she, if she sends yeah, you love, you'll get love. Uh, she'll get love. But if she sends anything down now, she'll get her own medicine if you get what I mean. Yeah. In the meantime, we've got an issue with the throat. Yeah. Throat chakra. It, that's, it, be- it, that, that's because you're trying to, uh, you, over the years, you've been trying to help her and realise she's bad and you don't talk. It's it's like a blockage of your throat chakra. Mm-hmm. So now you've blocked her. Yeah. It, let, uh, let's, I'll nourish your throat chakra and see what happens. She's also sending her dreams um, of choking her. Yeah. You need to release those. Are you dreaming? Yeah. And I wake up. Yeah. The morning, I kind of go. Uh, yeah. Are you getting dreams where somebody's choking you? Do you feel no, like I'm... someone's choking you? One time. Um, one time I wake up coughing. Yeah, she's sending her nightmares. Hey, she can't do that now anyway. She doesn't have any power over you. Mm-hmm. You have to understand yeah. that you're stronger than she is because you're of the light. She's not. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm picking up she's jealous of you. Maybe she's very strong. She is. Yeah. She is. Yeah. So, I know she is. So understand mm-hmm. that. Because I'm better off than her. She's struggling and I'm better off. Mm-hmm. Right. But she's all, I mean, you, you've got love and you're pure light and that she wants your light too. She wants your energy. You can't, you know, so now it's just, you know, if she comes, if she comes by your house, don't answer the door. She don't need her in your life. Yeah. She's exposing herself and let her do it, but not in your life. Yeah. Just don't answer the door. You don't have to. It's your home. Yeah. And you can contact me during the week. You don't have to wait until these healing events. Oh, yeah. That was really very um, not nice when I had headache. I have to call my send, daughter. Send me an email. Mm-hmm. Send me something on Facebook. You don't have to wait. I have to call my daughter. <laughs> I have had a Lily, Lily, people contact us all the time. You don't have to wait until the healing events. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you, Phil. And thank you, Debrick. Thank you. You're welcome. My card? Oh. <laughs> That's extra. So I was one. Stop. There you go. It's because I've been healing. I have been healing. Harmony and healing. So ah, wow. stop focusing on the problems. Stop focusing on her basically because you're giving her power. Yeah. yeah. And um, the angels are saying that let, let, let go of your troubles. So it's, it's both the similar cards, actually. So let go of your troubles, meaning her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't think about her. Don't give her your your yeah. power by thinking of her because let go. Just cut, cut the cords. Let, let go. You don't think mm-hmm. about her again. Now, now I'll put a little thing to stop her reaching you. Mm-hmm. You should be, you'll be okay now. Okay. Thank Thank you very much. Okay. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. The next one is Lydia. 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 Hello. Hello, beautiful. Hi, Lydia. <laughs> okay. So Lydia, why don't you scan yourself too? Let's okay. let's give it let's that. give yourself a practice. Come on, Lydia. What are you seeing? I'm seeing something with your neck. Seeing another bad back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Gonna have to fix my back up though. Something in your shoulders and arms, your hips. What have you been doing, woman? Working. They're really working you, huh? Uh, yes. Too much dancing. Too much dancing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Last night in, uh, in my dreams. <laughs> Are you lifting things? Are you lifting a lot of stuff? Uh, yes. Using muscles you haven't used in a while, huh? Five years. What do you do after work? You go for a nice walk in the nature? Um. Yes. Uh, uh, I'm walking with my dogs and then I'm just sitting because yeah. I'm... That's what, you, that's what you need to do a lot of. You need to ground the energy she does. work. She yeah. does walk in nature a lot. Yeah. Actually, she's sitting. I am sitting, sitting. I am, yeah, I am sitting on the ground with uh, with uh, barefoot and uh, I just connect him with, the, with the Gaia and source and I just I feel uh, like some energies around around me on skin, you know, like somebody is touching you or just floating. That, that's spirit um, trying to, that's a spirit trying to contact. Who? It's like like yes, yeah, it's in static energy and stuff, but you yep. there's some there's some spirits around you that are trying to contact you. And they're good spirits, so you just need to uh, listen. Where would you heard that? Oh yeah, mind's eye or remote vision or connect them. Okay. Yeah. She has um her third eye is wide open. Wide open. Yeah. Um, I'm you're seeing ignore, uh, you're, you're ignoring them there. <laughs> I know. But I'm cut, cut, starting to realize I should I should I should connect because I I starting having these dreams about about um, about this um uh, stream of light from heaven from sky is going on earth uh, it's like really every week once a time and I just feel this uh, strange energies around me just she's when seeing, I working, she's I don't seeing, have time. she's seeing visions Phil yeah. um, what what I would do is meditate a little bit to connect with who's around you and try and find the message of the visions that you're getting. I'd write them down as well, write them down and try and find the message in there. 
Yeah, yeah we get headache. A lot of headache. That is because Migraine. spirit. That is because the, your spirit is trying to contact you, and you're not listening. Okay. They give you headaches. Yeah. So when you feel them, just try and take a bit of time to connect. Close your eyes and see if you see what visions you get. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They give me headaches when I do healing. If I don't give the message, I give the message, even though we're not supposed to at the healing center. <laughs> but I don't want an headache. Yeah. And uh, I have one dream. It was very, very, very strange. Uh, it was about sports. I saw lots of sports. Um, they was just um, sitting on ground. There were many, many, many. I was running through a field through this sport. It was maybe thousands. I don't know, and I just hit. Um, it was like um, Christ, and I. Do, uh, uh, it was standing one sword there. Then I, then I get inside this uh, rings, or I don't know what was it. But when I put out this sword, everything was like in fire. It was not fire, but energy like fire. And I just felt I don't know. If I was someone protecting, or someone was protecting me, and I just felt this energy of uh, Jesus. It was very crazy. It was a field of swords and she yeah, fought, field and of she, swords. Uh, when she yeah, pulled I, one I, up, I, I, it yeah. changed. Yeah. Changed changed color or changed uh, physical. Yeah, it was it was rings inside all, all around was was this sword and rings. I don't know what was it. And I just went through it because someone someone was chasing me and uh they was shooting me with a bow and arrows <laughs> and lots of people around me was dying until I hit this um middle these these rings and just I, then I, I think you're being upgraded explode. yep I think you're getting an upgrade and they're training you a little bit in astro in dream okay. state they're, they're checking you out and to upgrade yeah, yeah. okay then was what clear about protection someone mm. and they're also testing how, how you cope with it it's like a training exam for okay. spiritual growth for spiritual yeah. growth yeah as a kid I used to get attacked by demons a lot but it weren't real demons they were checking me out so. Yeah, nice test when you tap. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Cool. It was uh, I, I know it. I can use it here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's crazy. Yeah, it's it's very strange. Last the last few two three months, it's going very fast and more more more. And now I am. Uh, and now I'm at work, big at work, and now I'm just jumping like crazy. When you're having that dream, you know you're dreaming. You actually know. Yeah, I happening. know. I know exactly. I, yeah. Put, put your hand up and try and grow a sword from your heart chakra into your hand. See if it works. Okay. 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 Oh, and I have problem a little bit with with, with my um sword plexus. What, what, what is going on there? Because I, I still feel so strange about this area. The energies, I think. Trying to balance the energy is quite difficult. Okay, then it's just oh, that's why I'm so emotional. Uh, okay, now we. A, know. a lot of people like to do work on their chakras and uh, above the solar plexus. They like doing the heart chakra and the third eye and stuff like that. But we have got the solar plexus and the root chakra, so mm-hmm. maybe a bit, a, a bit more. Actually, we've got spiritual growth. I'm expecting the card like that. Uh, some meditation to yeah. clear clear the energy there. Yeah. Balancing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Do you want a card? Do you, feel, do you feel any of the energies that um, we put through the healing? Have you felt any of the energy I've been? Um, yeah. Out? Yeah. I, I, I just feel, uh, I, I just felt tingling, tingling around. Uh, okay. A few few, uh, few spots in my body. Okay. My head is again. Yeah. Your shoulders, um, your hips, your legs. Yeah, too much working. <laughs> Head, um, yeah. <laughs> you know it'll stay with you for the next week. Yeah. Okay. Drink Thank some you. Water. Bless your water. Yeah. We love. Uh, and can you can, can you check uh, on Donnie and Momo? Yeah. Just pass. Pass. By, by the way, Lydia, you, you did get a doubt. I've just been told off someone with a letter M. Is it Michael? Someone like that. But you got a download. So. Okay. okay. Uh, I have a uh, um, uh, question about uh, Archangel Michael. Is he somewhere here? Because I see lots of blue blue spots every time I open or I close my eyes. Exactly. Or my blue yeah. dragon. Archangel Michael is just telling me, of course. Yeah. Well, <laughs> of course he's there. Who's the blue, right? <laughs> I'm sure it's not Michael, the blue, right? <laughs> okay. He's so saying, yes. Right. Yeah. He's yeah. saying yes. Okay. I was right. That was cool. strange. How, how, strange how blue Michael, because obviously we have a little laugh with each other, but he don't <laughs> normally ask me to give you that he's told you. But yeah, you must be connected to Michael. Yeah. So. Thank you. I think, is it an E or she? She. Yeah. She's saying she wants more runs. I know you more? give loads. More runs. <laughs> she, she needs a lot of running. A lot of exercise. Yeah. That's a lot of love. 
Running. Running. Walking. Running. Yeah. Moving. Yeah. Oh, okay. I won't say walking. I won't say that, think I? <laughs> it's true. When I when I am working, I am lazy to go for a long walk. They're they're fine. Yeah. They they love you so much. Yeah. I will do my best, Don. <laughs> and she's all right. It's nothing. I don't see anything. She's no, perfect. Thanks, Mama. Oh my God. Yeah. The second one. More mellow down. <laughs> He seems fine, except he's got a little dirt in his stomach. Did he eat some rocks? <laughs> no, yeah, he can. He, he can. Don't eat rocks, but he's take, uh, taking them. And he's, yeah, he got a little dirt in his stomach. Okay. I'm taking it out. I'm trying to dissolve it. Not real good for him. Mm -hmm. I was thinking he's maybe stressful because I am now eight hours at work and he's just don't take it very well. <laughs> They're two different temperaments, huh? Yeah. One likes the loving, one likes the running. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good play. Thank you very much. You've got well two done. cards for you. Two cards. Yes. I'm guessing spiritual growth and uh, music. I don't know. Let's see what I get. <laughs> I got it light, right last week. So. Tell him when to stop. <laughs> stop. Yeah. You want me to do them again so I get them right? <laughs> We've got divine timing and friendship. Divine timing and friendship. Yeah. Oh, perfect. So your prayers are being answered by universal law. Friendship. You're changing your friends from, the, from old ones to new ones. That's what you're saying, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank, so you, you, thank you. Thank you. You're changing much. your friends. Is that right? What you're actually doing at the moment? Yeah. Definitely. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Deb. Thank, Thank you, Rick. You're Love you. Love you, too. Good seeing you. Lily, you're on mute. Okay, the next one is Bunny. Afternoon, everybody. Hello. Hello. So what were you doing this week, Bunny? Um, I went back to work last Friday through the agency and that whole last, this whole last week was horrific. Your ribs don't look good. Yeah, no, <laughs> I, um, I'm not familiar with, uh, Arconic and whatever this was, um, was actually even, it was the manager or the person that runs this warehouse. I was only supposed to work in the office, but to the point where it was actually growling at me. So on Friday, I, uh, contact the agency contacted me. I said, yeah, no, I don't, th yeah, no, that's not going to work. You work for a temp agency? And I only felt that the ribs were doing great up until um, probably this morning. Yeah, they're not. But I've been extremely energetic all day. Yeah, they're, they're not looking good. You did some damage to them, so they need some healing. Well, apparently the cats seem to think so, too, because all seven of them, the neighbors and everybody, and the hummingbirds have come. So I thought that was really kind of cute. I don't think I brought it into the house think I got it shaken off, but I've been grounding and stuff and I don't feel anything negative in the house. I just saw it. The first thing that the uh, creator brought uh, me to is uh, your ribs. Well, even the neighborhood, because I've been doing grid work and energy work. And um, the one that I've been working, I'm going to say on is um, feminine aspects of the archangels. <laughs> And literally in my neighborhood, all hell broke loose. Sheriff's department, I mean, the police department, and it's, and even like yesterday, it's like, this is getting, but I get energetic, so I have to work that off. <laughs> Or you know, there's almost that. there's almost like a dome over your place right now, so I don't see any issues right yeah, now. Yeah, I think we did that last time. Yeah, yeah, you helped me with that. And yesterday and the day before, I did the um, violet flower, uh, uh, fire flame, and then um, this time it was uh, I was asked to do uh, golden orbs with it. That was a little different than I've worked or done before, so I'm not really sure why that was asked. But it was the last three days. Yeah, uh, that uh, that manager was just very dark and you're not and that's why it's a conflict of energy yeah yeah that's why he growled at you you're for the light he's, he's more dark no? Yeah. Well, te technically it was a she. However, it, it just was, um, I thought, oh, gosh. I, I, I think in America you can't say that anymore, can you? Pardon? <laughs> I think in America you can't say that. It's a she. <laughs> well, the real strange part is that she looks a lot like my brother's foster son. Yeah. And I was like, God, I hope they're not related. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't help it. <laughs> well, um, all right, so we're just going to do healing on the ribs because I don't see anything else. Do you, Phil? No, no. Uh, the house is clear. It's just energy, I think. Energy with your overlifting, yeah, with your ribs. I think the overwork and the energy from this woman or man, you go. Yeah, you meant size wise, yes, yeah, she's very large um, and I could feel, but I blocked it. I just left yeah. it alone. I just repelled it. You don't have to worry. I mean, you're just, uh, you know, I wouldn't worry about it. You're... I, I don't, I don't. 
loud. I laugh. You irritate, I'm only... you irritate their their um. You know, you when you're you're part of the light, you irritate their negativity. That's all. Yeah. Uh, and then I laugh because the neighbor's itty bitty kitty. He's uh, white and black, and he looks like he's Batman. I I called him Batman. Now everybody else in the neighborhood does too. So he came to my rescue, and he's been here for two days. He's actually the neighbor the neighbor kitty. But I I was gonna post that again. Uh, Batman's back to the rescue. <laughs> All right. So we're all um, loving on Duke. Yeah, good. So you, um, Phil's going to give you a card now and, and uh, just drink a lot of water again. Flush yeah. your water. Okay, Phil, you can stop. We won't do them again because uh, I didn't show them very well. The last two cards. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know which ones I want. We'll just see what happens. Stop. I would agree with that. Self acceptance and divine guidance. Yeah, yeah that. So you, that's... you're too you're too difficult yourself. Start loving yourself. I see when divine guidance. I've done that. So yeah, divine guidance. Your prayers are being answered by universal. So what? good cards, I'm not. Yeah. I I so, very very grateful. Yeah, is that the card you want? Did I expect it? Well, we'll take that one offline, Phil. Yeah, that's probably because I idea. actually asked for the feminine sides to step up, hope and faith and all of them, because the other sides were getting a little out of balance there. So I just asked for them to step in. Yeah, you got divine guidance. A little which bit is more. Not far off. Yeah. Pardon? You got divine guidance, which could, you could say you could do all that. Right? So your prayers are being answered. So whatever you wanted them cards, they're there because you are. That's what you're asking for. <laughs> yes. Uh oh. Thank you. Okay. The next one we have Daphne. Actually, I think Susan's ahead of me. No. No? Oh, no, Susan is after you. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I've been looking at these as well. No. Okay. Oh, and perfect timing. Okay. That's how it works, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I was in contact with you, Deb. And yes. Uh, so my friend Wolf, um, in a lot of pain, <clears throat> left me, cannot walk right now. She um she wasn't able to she didn't have the know the know-how to download Zoom to be here. Uh her friend is also here to receive healing, Nalutu. And um, so I'm gonna just be able to share a picture here and and she's online right now. So once you've got picture, then I can do translation back and forth for her if you have any questions. All right. Yeah. What was her name, Daphne? Wolf. 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 Okay. Okay. And uh, she had um, a, we'll say some, some, some dark witch stuff going on. Someone offered uh, to do a spell for abundance for her. And she said, no. Okay. See, right. Oh, how do we do this? So. She asked for, you could share screen if you want to. I don't know how, I I was wondering uh, how. Uh, so she asked, someone asked her to do a spell for her. She said no. Did yeah. she have a problem after? Because sometimes these get a bit uh, funny about that. Not coming, not showing up here. I'll, I'll get her picture. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, I shared it with uh, Deb. Right here. It's a woman with the glasses, of course. She had pains in her shoulder and in the stomach. Oh, uh, that's great now. She's got, she has got, someone is sending the rubbish. Phil, I see, I see two daggers mm. placed in her legs with blood. I don't know what that means. It's almost like um, a spell, a black magic thing. That, yeah, you know, I'm getting stomach in short. I'm getting, a, she's getting a lot of, uh, black, she's getting black magic. I'm seeing, I'm seeing that. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. Okay, she said did no say, to did, no did you to say that she, I'm I'm sorry, could, I'm sorry to interrupt. Did you say that she had problems with her legs? Yeah, her left knee. Um, I'm, see, I'm seeing she both. She said no legs. to stomach and uh, the shoulder pain. She has got that. She's not feeling it. Oh, okay. But it could be that the pain is so severe in her knee yeah, that yeah. she's not feeling it. She says her hip and her knee right now. Gypsies. I'm getting gypsies. Who I'm seeing gypsies. I'm a big gypsy. Right. Yeah, but I'm seeing like old fashioned wagons, gypsies that would go like the old time gypsies. She's in Romania and the gypsies are very well established there. Okay. I've, I've got family at a Romani gypsy. I've, I've never told you that. I've ancient, you know, a few hundred years ago. And it's well, Romani as well. But I'm seeing this is like a crystal ball, gypsies, the whole, this is that type of black magic. There's somebody she knows that is doing this. This is not a stranger. This is not somebody on Facebook. That's somebody, it's somebody that she knows. It's somebody in her own country. Somebody that she knows. Oh, yeah. In fact, it could be family. 
She says she's uh, on Facebook and she doesn't believe she's a gypsy. Not her. It's not her that's a gypsy. It's somebody else. Ah. It's where the powers come from to, to, to sort of, someone's using a gy- uh, gypsy, you know, like a contract or something. It could be an old contract. It could be from a past life, her mother or grandmother. Ask her if a relative practice was a, um, Ask her if any of her relatives used to do the crystal ball, use a crystal ball. Hey, Deb, it's more like bloodline. Something wrong with her bloodline. What? Something wrong with bloodline. Her bloodline? Yeah, so, something in their in her ancestors have done something really wrong. I, I think I think they there was a curse put on bloodline. Okay. And it, I think it was her that was going to end up paying the price. I've got permission of a soul. I'm going to go down the timeline. Okay. Into the ancestry timeline. I don't know how you're going to explain this to her. Sorry. All right. I can see it. Where does she live now? Pardon me? Yeah, where does she live? In Romania. Well, yeah. What I'm getting is it was a feud, family feud. And this is and this is uh, this is hundred this is way back. Get what I mean? It was not thousand years ago, but it's hundred years ago. And this is where a a a bloodline curse on the family family curse, especially in Romania, we do that all the time. Anyway, mm. uh, the way to get rid of these curses is you got to find the person that created them because the person that's created them doesn't go forth. They ground themselves by doing it. So they then lose their life force, and then you've got to give them energy to cancel it, and they're willing to cancel it after you know stuck on on Earth for so long. So I see what I do. Yeah, she has no knowledge of anything like that with her relatives. Okay. Yeah, it's going back. I did say a couple hundred years back. Yeah, I can see it, but it's back pretty far. Right. She just she signed something. Right, it's been done. If you get all that, I've got a lot more information, but it just sounds so ridiculous. All right. <laughs> She signed the contract. She cancelled the contract. She wanted to get there. There was actually some sort of uh, spirit waiting for her. White light came, so she wasn't like that. And we did it. Got stuck here. Uh, have you done the healing, by the way, Dad? Well, I'm going to do it now. So we, yeah, it, I can't, it, it can't do it until the contract is sorted it's, out. It's, so. it's sorted, sorted out. Okay. You can check it if you want. The daggers are gone. I've never had from someone who wanted to do it so much. But if you ground yourself hundreds of years, you don't really want to be here. It could be three or four hundred years. I don't you know. Ask her if her pain is gone. Okay. I'm trying to heal, heal that because obviously it probably still still got the resident, uh, residue. Yeah. I'm happy to have anyway. He says it's pretty bad still. I was just saying the residue's still there though. Cancel it a better curse. It won't just lift the pain. <laughs> yeah, she's going, this is possible? Yes. Tell her to take three deep breaths in through her nose, blow it out through her mouth slowly. She may feel some energy going through her, warmth, like warm water going through her whole body. She's doing it. <clears throat> Daphne, it'll take a few days anyway. I've just put an energy ball of healing energy. It'll take two days and it'll slowly, okay. uh, slowly put light and, you know, energy and mute the, you know, transmute the, the negativity of it. Sure, I just saw a white light. Yeah. There you go. Oh, we're back. That's why I saw the white light. <laughs> yeah, she needs to drink a lot of water. The, the healing energy stays with her for uh, seven days. I press the. Uh, Say stop and I'll give you two cards. Okay. And I, I'm picking up. She could do with listening to some uh, meditation music. Is she into anything like that? I don't know. I don't know. Stop. I could, I could ground in one. 400 hertz or something like that. <sighs> She's got extra blessings off the angels, and <laughs> which is strange. She's got listening. So she needs to listen to them. Okay. In fact, it's, it's saying you need to use uh, their knowledge. Let's say, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, with myself, yeah. Uh, if we're done now with uh, we are. Wolf, thank you very much. Uh, yeah. Passing this last message on to her now. Um, I just want to say uh, thank you very much for all the healing on my foot. It feels so good not to have in- inflammation <laughs> and and just the pain and discomfort. Um, I feel that the tendon is now starting to heal. Um, so. Uh, uh, what I I'm feeling is a little bit, um, and I know that my home is now clear because the, all the animals have returned. Yay! <laughs> you know, but my cat still wants to be here at nighttime, which means there's still some stuff going on. And my energetic, um, emotional state is processing a lot of, um, mm, we'll just say lower vibrational things going on here, there, and everywhere, right? With people I love, you know, and cherish and, and all this stuff. So the grace part of me is um, wanting to come out. And so if there's any message for me to help 
with that, that beautiful divine grace within, you know, to come out and just help in this balance and flow. I would love to receive. I have one from Archangel Michael. He said, um, you knew I would come through today, didn't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he said, there's a lot of tricksters out there. Be on your guard. Oh, yeah. I'm always there with you. Yeah. Trust in what you see and what you don't see. The messages are pretty clear for you. Yeah. Yeah. My, my intuition is pretty. It right, is. Right on. It's saying it is. Yeah. This is not for you. This is for you. Yeah. Don't overanalyze. Stay in your heart. Those are the true messages. Thank you. You want to do a card for me, Phil? Yeah. You're connected to the enchantment world. You know that anyway, don't you? Oh, yes, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, my elemental. She knows that. Magic. Yeah. And- <laughs> yeah. Okay. Stop, please. And hence the color of her hair. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've been I've been just waiting for the right moment to do it even more blue. So uh, maybe today. Find guidance, self-acceptance. Yeah. Which I think you're already self-acceptance. So I don't know why that. Perfect. Uh, Thank you so much. Yeah. Start loving yourself even more. Okay. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> More self pra- hugging to do here, and your prayers will be on. Thank you. Oh, well. Okay. Can I can I just have a word with Paul? Hi, Paul. You, you, you put your message on. If you want to help with anything, by all means, yeah, we, we don't mind. So, what do you actually do? Ah, uh, how do I describe it? Uh, I call we, myself. We've only, people, we've only got a few minutes. <laughs> and I'll make that. it really quick. I do ascension work all day long. I deal with collective energies and pass it through. And I don't have a specific job right now, but uh, lots of messages. There is a a bunch of different things that I saw here. Is just targeted people. Anybody yeah. in the light that's a real bright light is getting darkness attracted to try and shut it down and it's teaching us to yeah, definitely. It. So. yeah definitely the people are getting implanted and all sorts of rubbish at the moment if, if you ever want to help us by all means you know we, we're okay with all that as long oh, yeah. as you don't take over <laughs> i will not <laughs> Hi, Paul. I've never met you before. It's a pleasure to meet you both. Thank you. And, okay. and Philip and Lily and everybody yeah. else. So I felt called to come today and I put a request in with Lily as well. So I don't know when my turn is. But yeah, you, you, you mentioned about helping us. If you want to help with healing or removing blocks, mm-hmm. by all means. Yeah. I, I'm a hollow bone. So I just keep letting energy go through. And as you find it, I add to it. So yeah. Too. Thank Our you. connection. It just said my connection was unable if we um you sound bug better. out, which it hasn't done this in a very long time. Out the internet. <laughs> uh, so I, I missed everything that Paul and, and Phil just said. So it, we, we didn't it, say um, anything. We, we were just it, listening so. to we were listening to you uh, trying to speak. <laughs> you still there? Uh, it's America for you. No problem. Uh. Are you back? See, I missed it. Um, we're back, I think. So again, all I heard was that's America for we, you. We didn't speak. We were <laughs> waiting for you, Deb. <laughs> damn Yanks. <laughs> it's probably because I have live YouTube. Damn YouTube. <laughs> all right. So let's carry on. Lily and darling. Oh, yeah. The next one is Susan. Hi, everybody. I'm back. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Susan. How are you? Hi. I'm good, thank you. I just, um, last night was uh, one of those times where you wake up in the middle of the night and everything's kind of in pixelated state. Mm, it's never happened to you before, so I'm asking. What does that mean? Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't hear you at all. Um, no, I was asking creator, is that something special? Oh. Is, is that good or is that bad? That's what I was curious about. Actually, good. You were getting it. You're in the middle of a download. Okay. I had my, my brain was lit up last night when I woke up and I was like, is I hope these are malevolent. <laughs> I was like, do, I was do like you know what, in a what? polixelated state. <laughs> I, I think you're nearly going out in the matrix. So, well, yeah. I'm excited mm. to. Yeah, there's do what nothing bad. There's nothing bad. Okay. Cause there's you. crazy pains yeah. going throughout my body this week and <laughs> just crazy pain. Like my, I had to take migraine medicine, uh, maybe about 20 minutes ago just to kind of, but I love being on here with you guys. I love yeah. supporting with love. There's, um, there's so many energies that are coming through uh, good ones, but sometimes mm-hmm. you're, you're not catching up with them. Your, your body's not catching up with them too. So, just breathe through it um you know you're and everybody's getting a lot of downloads they're, they're you know you're on and offline sometimes because you're in the middle of a download uh some people aren't sleeping through the night because of the energies uh d- dreams are happening you're not some i don't remember my dreams some people do remember their dreams i don't i wake yeah, up. i remember i remember all of them I yeah what, well i think that what is i think you were nearly breaking the matrix the veil was coming off and you were stuck and i've actually gone through it and 
gone to the other side and talked to these aliens and they'd wondered how I got there and I wondered how I got there myself. So I think that's how the reality was uh, falling through on you and that's because the time we are and anyone who's very, very powerful might be able to do that. So you're very, very powerful to be able to do that. Yeah, Thank definitely. you. I'm excited. I feel like my only goal right now is to delete anything coming from my body, any thought and then transmuting it into infinite love and that feels like that's all I'm supposed to do right now like just con it's like a constant I feel like I feel like we as we as the light workers it's finally our time to just really hone in um, all this beautiful light so we can catapult it from the ground crew you know yeah. obviously we have our family from the light crew yeah. so and there you guys are there's so many beautiful powerful souls on on your page coming in to be healed and beautiful thank you We're really in a process of cleaning just like Ho'oponopono it's like I'm sorry I love you please forgive me thank you we're just washing and washing and washing stuff we didn't even know was there mm. Do you feel like that's what you're doing also? Always. Just constantly, yeah. Of the day, those pains, those our stickinesses, it's just old stuff I didn't know I needed to let go. Me too. That's what I feel like. Like, I don't want any anything to leave my, even a thought, to leave my presence without it being clean, cleared, and just redirected your love. That's the oppo. Is that the oppo? Is that the oppo? No, no method where you're oh. cleansing everything. I've added the word. I've added the word. And, and, and people, yeah, and people you don't like. Goodbye. I've added well, the word. All, all of even them, I, I, I refocus to align for their greatest good because everyone is truly the spark of of God's light. So yeah. if they've forgotten it and how deep down the rabbit hole they've gotten, it's my opportunity to just even if I place a you know mm. a spark. Of of, of remembrance in that space for us That's exactly right. Like, because our over soul is the is the uh, aspect of source itself. So we all got gods inside. Yeah. That's correct. Mm -hmm. That's what I was being shown. So yeah. it, it's so simple. The guy that brought it out, Dr. Hugh Len, cured a whole insane asylum just by looking at their file mm. and saying, I'm sorry, I love you. Please forgive me. Thank you. It's oh, amazing wow. what that is. So, oh, wow. Yeah, Sophie's a fan of it. Sophie's the one who brought me to it. That. But it's strange how someone else said it because I had an art chakra blockage from a Mayan curse and I was to use that with a key to unlock it so, uh, and use that, that method. I learned that about eight years ago. I've forgotten about it. Yeah. It was nice to have when Sophie brought it back and I was like, oh my God, I forgot all about that. It's great to just fall asleep to it. Oh yeah, that's that's a good one. It's yeah, the YouTube video. I just put it the earbuds in and I fall asleep to it. I love that. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's I, I know we're all here for different reasons, but I just feel like even if we remember that for ourselves, I feel like it's so powerful because it it just we have no idea how many people we're touching in the collective with ourselves. You know, that that's what I feel like. You're right. You are exactly right. It feels good. I'm glad to have finally gotten to this place where I understand it on that level and I'm grateful. What, you know, when you raise your vibration, you're affecting people that 18 mile radius around you. And as you raise that, that increases. And as you raise more, that increases. So you just keep affecting people. So, you know, when I, when I first started doing decrees and raising my vibration, I didn't realize I was waking him up. I had no idea. And when you were saying that, I thought it was so amazing. And there's something so familiar about both of you. When I look at you, I, I, I know I know you from heaven's realms, you know. Yeah. I mean, he didn't even know what a chakra was. <laughs> That's His third so eye blew open. His third eye blew open. He's like, <laughs> I didn't even know I had a third eye. <laughs> That's amazing. I feel like his third eye opening up became such a, it really affected the collective, like a part of, um, the blueprint he was holding which is in the collective format i feel like it like blew open it was like really timely for the collective consciousness i see how he affect the collective it's pretty profound it is everything it's that so happened beautiful. Was, it was I can amazing see that. And we have a snoring dog again underneath <laughs> us well you both have such beautiful hearts i'm so honored to be in everyone's presence thank, thank you thank you so much my pleasure do you want a couple of cats can i just say one thing i've just been sure. told that for all the people still eating meat here there's some vegetarians for me for anyone who eats meat do that i love you i'm sorry please forgive you me thank you while you're putting your hand over try and with remote vision feel and think of the animal take all the trauma mm. put it back to source yeah then send your love to it thank you for the nourishment that food will taste mild better Myself. Yeah, that's beautiful. And yeah. and you and and stop letting other people tell you that you should not be eating meat, please. It, it has nothing to do with your 
ascension, whether you eat meat or you don't eat meat. Nobody has a right to tell you what to eat and what to put in your body. That is, I should, I have no right. Nobody has any right. No one has any right to tell you how to live your life, period. It's not my job. It's not their job. The other thing is, if you haven't been born as a vegetarian, it can really, it can nearly kill you, actually. Unless you have something. I did it for four years. I did vegetarian for four years. Mm. It's really hard to do. And I didn't, I was tired all the time. I was run down and I mean, he was still eating meat. So I was still, I was making two different meals. And then, you know, reality set in the economy today for us, it's not possible for us to do this. I, I, I had a friend and he went greeny yellow in color and the doctor said he gave him three months that you got to eat and he, he, had, he had 11 crab sticks that night he'd been fully vegetarian <laughs> and he just it, it, the doctor said it's killing you it really is well, killing yeah. you and we love fish we would eat fish every day um yeah. but we live in arizona there's not really no fish here <laughs> <laughs> it's very expensive. Yeah. <laughs> we, can tell you what, we can get it fresh fish, but it would cost yeah. us a, a lot of money. When, when, <laughs> not, uh, not practical. I, yeah, when I went, I think you know about this. When I had an awakening with this uh, twin flame in Australia, I got online. I bought a donut kebab. I gave it the dog. <laughs> I made bacon, couldn't eat, gave it a dog. <laughs> I was good. Uh, and uh, I started eating broccoli for the first time ever. There you go. And I love broccoli. I, I could, I'm very easy. I love yeah. vegetables. I could eat vegetables all the time, but it's just... <laughs> Do you have a card? Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> so now we, we, we got off topic again. Let's get I know. It was a good feeling. conversation. That's good learning. Do you want to say stop? Stop. I'm still amazed that you actually phased out the, uh, there you go, Archangel Michael. He's, over, he's everywhere. My favorite, Arca- my favorite Archangel. Not mine. <laughs> He's making his presence. Uh, he's making his presence shown into in divine time into your prayers are being answered. Mm, I love it. He's uh, such a gift. Character. He's one yeah. of my faves. Well, he's not one of my faves. I just happen to call him in a lot. I think as a healer, that's a nice one because <laughs> we don't have your skill set, Bill. <laughs> we're, we're, we need our help. We need our warriors. <laughs> he's a warrior. Yeah. I think. I, no, I, he plans everything. He has this nice army behind him. Um, Lily. Say the next one is Nilutu. I'm sorry, say it again. Nilu Nilutu Manole. Um, he said he cannot speak good English and he needs um um healing for his left eye. Is he still here? Yeah, yeah he's here. You can unmute Nilutu. I'm just asking to him right there. So, oh, yeah. I don't speak very good uh, English. All right. okay. My problem is um, left side the body, uh, including uh, all parts of face. You might feel the energy, by the way, as we're scanning. You. There's something going on in his head. Do you see an implant? See an implant in the back of the head, left hand side. Also, again, a pulse from it. It's a bit strange. I also see a blood clot. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling uh, an ingredient added there. What I'll yeah. do is I'll. <laughs> I'll connect with a crystal source being. Yes. Connect, connect to your 11th chakra. Get your yes. blueprint and then see what I can do to your blood. Transfer all as your original. You may feel warmth going through your body, like warm water or maybe vibration. So let me know when you're done with your part. I don't know. Okay, if you can do a one deep breath in through your nose and blow out through your mouth slowly three times. Can you do that? Can you breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth slowly slowly for me? Do a deep breath. Did you feel any warmth going through you? Did you feel any? Hello? Did you feel warmth going through you, like warm water? Did you feel any energy? Probably don't I feel stuff. Yeah, sorry. Right. I feel. Yes, good. Hmm. Okay. I have pain. You have pain. You have weird stuff all over the body. So even your fingers. I'll give you a card. If you can, if you want to say stop, I can do it, or I'll stop for you. I'll stop for you. I'll stop. What language does he speak? Does anybody know? I, I no. believe Romanian as well. Okay. Yeah. He can't spiritual growth harmony. That's because of our excellent healing, I think. Mm. Spiritual it, growth. The angel okay. harmony, the angels are saying, let go of your troubles to bring harmony. And then you'll get stop fearing your situation, follow your heart, and, and the growth will come. So no fear. Now, Lutu, the healing's done. Drink a lot of water. The healing will be taking place four or five days all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. We don't okay. stop we don't stop it. Yeah, okay. it continues for seven days, actually seven. I might be five. <laughs> 
creator is seven. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Okay. Okay. Now we have Nancy. Down there too. Okay, we have Nancy. Hey everyone. This is my first time. This is my first time here. Uh, I was uh, directed here by Don from uh, uh, Marina Jacobi's webinar. <laughs> so this is my first time to have also a healing session. You're welcome. Um, We're glad to see you. Yeah. Um, I, 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 I think I have several implants and uh, energetic hooks. And uh, I also almost uh, passed away last year because of my uh, stomach problem. So perhaps, um, and I can still feel that there's something in my body. So, yeah. And where do you live? Do you live in the United States or Canada? No, or? I'm uh, from the Philippines. You, oh, you're in the Philippines. Okay. Yes. That's where Lily is from. Yes, <laughs> we spoke. <laughs> relax i feel a lot of fear in you can you relax for just a moment just try and release that okay. you don't have anything to fear right now because there's nothing that we can't take away from you anything evil around we can get rid of it don't worry so right. just, re just relax because <laughs> that fe that fear is putting up a big wall take some deep breaths that fear feeds them that's their food just remember that okay now i see them the little gremlins yeah i'm just going through an implant so i'll be back show okay Back again. My favorite place. There's a, there's a couple of portals in our house. You shaking your head? Yes, you knew that. I knew that. <laughs> I can feel it. There's so many things that happened here in the house. Yeah, you can see them. Do you see them? Sometimes. Or just feel them? Feel and sometimes in my peripheral view. Yeah. yeah. They're not real big. They're small little um they're not human. They're like, and sometimes they leave imprint. Mm. You have a lot of gifts. Mm -hmm. Why? Why are you afraid of them? They can't. They can't hurt you if you if you're um, not afraid of them. Not really afraid. Anxious. That's the same Very thing. Same <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> Anything that's not love, um, happiness, and joy, and all, that feeds them. So you have to okay. be happy, joyful, and not go into fear because that's what keeps them there. Is is all those negative energy is what feeds them because okay. like, really they can't hurt you have they hurt you yet? other no, than no. Get, making maybe making you sick to your stomach because their energy is lower than yours yes that's yes, that's the whole thing their energy is yeah, lower than yours and that's what yeah, makes you sick we can mm -hmm. also the implant that i've just gone through they can actually change your energy they can make you ill they can they, mm -hmm. yes. trying to lower your vibration Yes, and they can't only do can they only do that if you have lower but you lower your vibration by by fear or anxious or you know anxiety type things. So I understand. You are so much more powerful than they are. Yes, yes, you are. You can laugh at them and say, "Go away! You can't touch me. I'm too I'm too light for you." And sometimes it's simple as no more or no in the moment, and just stating your conscious intent that they don't have power. Yeah, agree. It's simple. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, you're right, Deb. Mm -hmm. What? I'm sorry. What did you say? Are you okay? Finish. Yeah, I was sneezing. Sorry. I've got an injured leg. I brought back an injured leg. You got me again. <laughs> and be more oh. careful. So where where was it this time? It's strange. There's two places. One was in the earth, but one was on the right. It's strange. It's like a portal to one place, portal to the other. Yeah. Implants are gone. Uh, my dragon got fed and uh, my little creep. I've invented a little being that eats implants and he's been fed. Uh, like a squirrel, but he talks like one of them squirrel talking cartoon films. He's like exactly the same as that guy with. Yeah. So let's do your healing. Okay, the portals, Um, we need to close those up. Yeah. We'll send some white light through them energy bottle give them a bit of one so it'll destroy the other end of it as well and we're gonna get some energy in you so you do the healing and then we should be done i'm also getting nancy possibly if you have an attachment to the elementals invite the fairies and bring some happiness and joy more into your home okay yes 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 thank you Daphne. so remember if you lift your vibration they're harder to, to better do this so mm -hmm. the higher the vibration the better mm -hmm. i'm just going to cleanse you out so i would do this I've got an aspect at St. Germain and I put in from his, I put in a, like a violet flame board in your structure of your house and it was spread through all the, all the physical part of the house. I'm also getting, I'm getting like, you've got like a connection to some very powerful spirits around. Why didn't they do it? Like a, why didn't they do it? 
Is it Teresa around you? Someone named Teresa. Somebody close to you? Um, uh, Can you say? I know people. Somebody who passed on that was named Teresa? I know. In real life, it might be energy trying to pick. That's uh, one of your angels named Teresa. You chose her before you incarnated this life. That she's the the angel that's closest to you. She wants you to know that uh, you can count on her anytime you want her. She's been with you since you were born. She's never, she's never not with you. And one of your guides name is Joseph. He's also with you since you were born. You chose him as well. You know that you you know them in the um you're also an angel. Did you know that? Yes, you're from the angelic realm. You when you're done here, you'll go back to the angelic realm. You asked to you asked to come here. You volunteered. Mm-hmm. You have 32 around you at all times, angels and guides. You're never alone. This, this is why you have all these gifts, these powers. You have a dance party with some Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought all I have are negative energy surrounding. Your angelic name is Josie. <laughs> Your angel name is Josie. I knew my name is. <laughs> Look, Josie. Think about this, about this, Nancy. If you've got negative energies around you, why? Because you're so powerful. You're powerful. Because you're so powerful. That's exactly right. They, if you're very powerful, they'll have a team try and lower your vibration. They'll have a team. Like you, we've got teams. We also got teams on the opposite side trying to lower our vibration. Yeah. And uh, mm-hmm. I was really low about four years ago. And luckily, I froze them with my heart chakra because of anger. Oh. And they were in that timeline for about three years before a medium told me to get, they needed to go. <laughs> Thank you for telling me that, Pity and Daphne. Okay. And Nancy, you are you are so gifted. So don't you worry. And uh, you, you always have all those wonderful guides and angels around you at all times. And you've got energy in you, healing energy. So the next seven days, drink a lot of water. That energy is going to continue to keep healing you. So your stomach should feel so much. I felt, I felt the en- the waves of energy. Just yeah, it's creator. Yeah, it's creator energy. My husband's connected to creator. Oh, and I, I, I can see inside your body. So the energy goes right to you. And I can see the healing. So you've got energy going through you. And that'll last for the next seven days. Deb, I was just watching. <laughs> no. <laughs> Phil is doing. Phil is a healer too. He's you missed the beginning, so I know that you were doing Martina's um, webinar. So um, and we introduce ourselves as a beginning and, and explain what happened to us. And Phil is a, is a walk-in. He's Archangel Raphael. Oh. And has no, me aspects. One of me aspects. aspects. So and he's a healer, and but he's a warrior too. We are, we are not. We don't do warrior work. Can, can I show you some of it? I've just got from that. Can you see those two marks there? Yes, 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 yes. That, that, I've just had that. And that's the memory of a battle I've just had going through your implant. The memory comes through because the brain gets a bit confused. But it'll go after about a week as well. So he goes into the implant to see where it originated from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because if if we take it out, we'll just put another one in. Yeah. He has to go to the origin so that he can stop them from ever putting another one into you. So it's taken out already now. Yeah. It's It's gone. And And the origination point is gone. Yeah. I've been battling this for a long, long time. I just like it's all, now. Yeah. it's all gone now. It's all better. Thank you so much. Yeah. My heart You're is welcome. full of joy and gratitude to you all. Thank okay. you. And remember that joy. Keep that joy because then they'll never to be able to touch you. Do you want? Phil, do you want? Do you want two Phil cards, will give though? you angelic cards, and I'm going to go to the bathroom. A little bio yeah. break here. All right. All right. You say oh. stop. Stop. Okay. Uh, divine guidance again that's some coming up childish straight that's the one i would have expected so you got a uh, these cards are pretty good actually the child the ch- children one honor your inner child and have some fun that's what you're lacking at the moment you need to l- let it go and have a bit of fun and divine guidance your prayers are being answered by universal law are beautiful uh-huh. so uh, make a bit of fun in your life yeah because if okay. you don't have fun you become a bit serious you can be at low vibration okay. uh, yeah I'll that in mind thank you Peter. thank you from the bottom of my heart well. I'm, I'm sorry you. Leslie I'm say sorry. that again I didn't hear that it is actually the next is Victoria for her niece Canis. okay that's fine so you, that's will, you will be next after okay. Victoria that's you're fine. next okay sorry Leslie hello everyone hello. this is a sweetheart you want to send it to Deborah uh, whoever wants to do this. I did, lot, I did a lot of work on that area. It has nothing to do with that. I'll tell you guys later, okay? Okay, great. Okay. Okay, moving on. I love Thank you. you so much, guys. Hi, Leslie. Hi there. Hi, Hi Leslie. Hi. I'm the dragon girl <laughs> from a few months ago, but I would like a scan. If- yeah. 
I said healing as well, so I'll, I'll carry on with that. Can you go in the light? I can't even see your eyes, Leslie. You're in oh. the shadow. I know. Does that help? There you go. That helps a lot. <laughs> there we go. I had to dry my eyes from the last few. Are you feeling like arthritis in your hands? Oh, yeah. My right hand. Some carpal tunnel in your wrist. Can I tell you what I have right there? You can. I have a, um, and I was diagnosed with it a long time ago, and they said it's benign, but I have like a, a fatty tumor, like right here. And in that whole area, it's been bothering me just the last week to two weeks. I'm just yeah. getting that you're, that there's pain here. Mm-hmm. You have headaches as well. Yep. Not right now. Mm. Yeah, but the headaches, you might not have it now, but the energy of that headache is still there. So yeah. it, I pull it into me and then I think, oh, God, I've got an headache. <laughs> and I ground it and then I have another one. <laughs> but you, that's, getting neck that's clearing it. It clears it. Hmm? There's a problem down her neck and her shoulders down her back into your hips and down your legs. Yeah. So. Well, the big, the biggest thing that I have going on right now is I thought I broke my ankle, but I just drained it really bad. And it actually healed a lot, but it's still swollen and bad. So I was hoping to get... You, you crack your muscles a lot as well. Yeah, you know, if you move your hands, you hear the crack. I'm picking up negative stress energy all over your body, negative energy. Are you froze? You froze. You froze. I think it's she's like, got. I think she's got. Like, I think she's got implants. Leslie in America. Yeah. yeah broadband issues. I need to take the dog out. Just give me a sec. Okay. I'm getting something in her left hip buttock area. Oh. Oh. Oh, lost her. She had something, and she had implants um, there where you were seeing something, and also in the back of her neck. Oh. Phil's gone. Yeah. Yeah. But I was talking to Daphne. Oh. We lost her. She got booted. We'll come back to her, Lily. She had two implants that I could see when she got booted, Phil. Yeah. So we'll come back to her, Lily. Oh, oh she's gone. Yeah, well, she got booted. There's, there's nobody anymore requesting. I cannot see anybody requesting. Nobody requesting. No more. A poll. Hatia yaya gizakia. Paul? No worries. I'll try and be quick. Um, I just had this last, well, it's happened for a long time, but it's kind of like blockage to even seeing beloveds, relationships, um, anything. Like it's just maybe a curse or something. And then I've got these like numb bands behind my heart like there's a harness and literally i i can run my fingers over them and there's bands about that wide that are just completely numb or just turned on completely just trying to look into that maybe it's divine or whatever but i know when i do eventually meet that beloved or that energy starts to happen like some massive things start to happen in my world and maybe this is ego but on the planet uh just putting that purity of love back so hoping maybe somebody can see something or tell me if i'm uh, if it's supposed to be there no it's not you already know that <laughs> i have tried freaking everything so <laughs> remember if we do a lot of light work a lot of good work here we always have dark ones trying to stop we have a team just for you just for you i, mean, I, I, know, I saw him laughing at me four of us that's I, I, so angry is best to get rid of Mm-hmm. Well, at one point I had a reading and there was like eight layers of demons that were surrounding me and I'd selected this just to keep me down until the right time. It's quite terrifying, but after a while, it's just like, I command darkness. You're going to freaking... That's <laughs> like my will. That's my yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, believe me, we've had lots of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not fun. You also have some portals in your house. Did you know that? I just moved. I thought I cleaned them, but uh, I'm welcome to cleaning anything. I'm in an apartment building. So. Yeah. Is that a pantry? Uh, there's a kitchen straight behind me. Yeah. That- the door is my door, and then my laundry room is on the other side. Is that a laundry room, though? Laundry room. Water. Yeah, they, man, they, they love water. There's a portal in that room. Okay, I'll age the shit out of you it. Feel, do you feel anything when you go in there? Just yeah. Dancer, but uh, yeah, I'll clean it. <laughs> no, we 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 need a, that band that... Oh, it's tingling up a storm right now. <laughs> well, it's connected to that portal. Wow. Well, it pre-existed here. I moved here just a month ago. I've had that for like... They come with you. you understand yeah. that? They come uh, with you. Those portals come with you until you get rid of them. Wherever you go, they go. <laughs> I'm ready. Let them go. Send them into the like. Whether it's positive or negative, they're following you. I hear you. So if you've got an implant, I've had or many, like millions. I think sometimes it's a they're going to stay with you. Yeah, I hear you. That uh, them cords in the back there to stop you connecting to the light grid consciousness. Mm-hmm. Yeah, deliberately there. I hear you. I agree. I was, clo- I was closing the door, and they told me I was closing the door for the dog. <laughs> so, oh, <thank> <laughs>
Where's the implant? Uh, where's the implant, Deb? I don't want to scan. Go straight in. It's here. In the brain, in the back of the head. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's, your, that's, that's the psychic input where your psychic comes in and you've got the, like a tuning straight out. It's a big one. I've never seen him like yeah. that. I know Leslie's back. We'll do you next, Leslie. They made it look like a like a bandage. They're, they're just so stupid. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, we'll make it look like a boo-boo. I did in the light. <laughs> He'll never guess. While I'm doing this work, I actually sometimes merge with the uh, Atlantean being Hermes. Uh, he's like, he's like a demigod. So they I actually have, have it. They, ha- they have it connected to his third eye too. Yeah. I can feel it. I don't see much. No. They were trying to connect it to your heart chakra too. They were trying to make you really numb. They didn't go that far though. Oh, they're scared shitless of me to come fully into the light. I know that much for sure. <laughs> Part of what I've felt called to do here is bringing back innocence and purity of sexuality and teaching people and bringing back Temple of Isis and Magdalene and Mother Mary and other energies, by teaching people about that healing creation power and using it through your chakras to clean and cleanse and clear you. But it's scary for a lot of people. So can you feel that? Oh, I feel lots of stuff going on. <laughs> Are you feeling the power of a demigod? <laughs> I accept it and allow it to for, render for my highest good. There's like a big hook in the back of my heart. You're going to feel creator's energy in the heart. White diamond light and then in your crown. You like fingers, me fingers are like numb. I don't know why I like I know what it is now. It's, it's uh, I mean, it's destroying and creating chaos. It's our friends again, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, but, I need it. But Hermes has got power out of his hands and it's numbing my hand. So. When I see these events for so everyone else, it's a bit like Star Wars with the flying spaceships and the. It's and true. The, yeah, and the you know the ones where they're in like a big, massive, four-legged base thingy, and then moving it a bit like that. Very it's, just like, it's just like watching Star Wars, but I'm like, we have to take part. And when we do this, it's, it might take we, a, a few days, but it only takes five minutes. Yeah, I agree. It was connected to um, Orion. Not a great planet to be connected to. It's a few planets, but it's mainly one. Got a lot of pyramids on there, like, all connected to us, all connected through or Egypt. Yeah, Egypt is very powerful for me. Some of whatever you're doing is down into my right hip as well. It's like when we go in, we don't just go in with me and the aspect. We're going in with quite a lot, probably about 50, sometimes 100 of our, on our team. It's disengaging anything that's connected to you. That's what it is. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And through your crown and through your heart chakra, there's um, energies from Creator going through and healing. Except, except I don't know. Those diamond, white diamond light. Let me feel some going down your spine now. I cross your hips. My nervous system is starting to release. It's been stuck in there for a long time. Mm-hmm. Down your legs, you're going to feel something from your hips down your legs, mm-hmm. down your knees. I can track that. I can track that was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. It's released now? Yeah, it's been released now. Beautiful. I'm just a bit wary. Sometimes I have uh, traps for the trap, if you get what I mean. I know what you mean. <laughs> You're also trying to put a control cord in your brain. I wouldn't be surprised. That's my dog level, not, not any demon. It's all right, well, I live in the zoo. <laughs> we have dogs, cats, birds. Beautiful. Yeah, everything's lighting me up and opening a lot in there. And I also feel it's into my money and my abundance and all it's all tangled together. So you're releasing that as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. How do you feel now? Oh. Tingly and a little spacey, but it's all good. Beautiful. Thank you. A, a little tip. This is an Atlantean tip. I just thought I'd tell you. If you want to do any self-healing or grounding, what you got to do is visualize a halo or a cylindrical crystal above your head, right here. It's normally white light, like gable white light, and it emits. And what, what you do, you slightly scan yourself going down. If it changes color like red, it means you've got attachments or implants. If it changes to yellow, it's emotions, greeny and just go to ground slowly I'll take it 10 minutes I know that's something that uh, I was given 10 years ago by Hermes but uh, quite a few use it now it's a good self-healing instead of using the old grounding tree and the roots and everything it's better than that because it heals you as well can't go into the ground anymore so uh, <laughs> I agree beautiful mm. thank, you. thank you all you're welcome you're welcome you're very welcome. Crazy stuff we get in. So thank you, thank you. Especially you back. Yeah. Did you get a card? Oh yeah. Do you want a card, Paul? Sure. Just pick one. I trust you. No. Oh, I'm sorry. Shuffle and pick one. You want you to <laughs> shuffle and pick one. I was a bit dazed. Uh, yeah, no it's been a long day. I hear you. See all the injuries. The worst injury in uh, warrior work was two sprained ankles. Came back with. I couldn't get out of bed. There you go. 
that was a multi-dimensional demon that got me from behind. Let's hope that's not happening again. Yeah. It won't happen again. Oh, I've, I've also come back warrior work and some of a being tried to smother me in my bed. And uh, my dragon said, why are you going back in your body when you're in warrior work? Just get rid of him. Good idea. Before before he kills me. So I'm a man. Like her. Mm -hmm. Well, when the that, demons are around, you just stick a couple with a spear right up through their bottom and post them at your front door. And a lot of demons don't show up after that. <laughs> I never thought of that. It works. But uh, they, they very rarely come here. The, me, dragon eats them, especially Jim. He loves me, Gary. Stop it. I'm just telling the dog. I think he's hungry. It's tell us when. It's very I'll stop. stop him. Sure. I'll shuffle forever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, goodness. Oh. Always after healing, you get harmony. Um, you've also got forgiveness, yeah, uh, which is good. So forgiveness is you may feel you should be angry with someone or being. I think release this anger. Obviously, mm -hmm. you probably know that anyway. Actually, this uh, whole situation and the fact they have an implant requires forgiveness. Yeah, right now. yeah, exactly. And the angel is saying, "Let go of your troubles, go I will. Send, send the beings who did that love that alert." <laughs> I will. We'll bring, we'll bring energy the best one. Yeah. Love you all. Thank you. Thank Love you, you too. Thanks. Thank you. All righty. Back with the with uh, Leslie, who we lost. Leslie, oh, before totally when you, went out, just do, gone. You froze, I know. And um, so you, while, you, while you, you had were, you had sprained ankles last year. Yes, yes. Yeah. You know, I thought I had sprained ankles, but I had a broken ankle and a torn Achilles, mm. and I walked on that for seven weeks. <laughs> Uh, in three mm -hmm. for me but i have to work so it's been very hard to stay off it's of not, it it's not easy to i didn't stay off <laughs> but i'm seeing implants in her that's what i was wondering that was my next everyone's it, everyone's getting them at the yeah because i'm i'm just you're around it you know and yeah. and the thing is is that i've been noticing these little like hard places on my exposed skin and i was wondering if that was shutting the well, what 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 the uh, the dark ones have done in 4D? They'd actually be sending implants to the light consciousness. They go in their back door. We we shut. It's all been shut now, but a lot of light workers got implants because of it. They're sneaky. What is what is the back door? I mean, just like different different ways. Is well, that when you mean? when you connect to consciousness, they were sending implants to consciousness. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so, but it's been it, forced was, to get clever and clever. Yeah, but, <laughs> there was one in Antarctica. Factory went down there. 4D and the one in China, yeah. So. But what it is, they're desperate, that's all, just desperate. Right. Be because the connection with uh, Orion's gone a lot. A lot of the, the pyramid network in Orion's gone down. We've took it down. So they are not. They can't connect to the Egypt one or the Peru one. So that's why November the 27th last year, everything changed a bit. And I think this November, it'll be big events this, this November. But I'm not saying what. <laughs> Now, I've just given the date on that 27th. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Phil, we want to know. <laughs> that doesn't mean this this month, this November's the same 27th. Okay. <laughs> it's a lot of dates being thrown out around. Right <laughs> Can you tell me where? Yeah, lower lower back. Well, see, I, I wondered about that the last time, and you guys did a healing on my lower back and my hips the last time, and it felt a lot better. Um, yeah, and now, now it's... <laughs> But now it's back. back. <laughs> well, the back thing I've suffered with pretty much a lot of my life. And so for it to just go away like that would have, and I've, I had a feeling that it might be like past life kind of a thing. A memory from another yeah. life. That I'm trying, yeah, that I was trying really hard to let go of that, but I just don't know. I don't know. No, you've got it. You've got something there, and you've got one at the where your where your neck and your back meet, mm. and there's something going on with your. Yeah, Deb, I'm getting it's both. I'm getting the aura field in your back and weakened from a past life memory of an act, and that's where they put the implant because your aura field's a bit weak on it. Mm. Yeah. I don't know if you guys remember, but you pulled up. I was the the slave, and he was carrying the rocks a lot, and so we kind of tied that to. Um, the back thing possibly yeah, i've got an act as well in that but i've been trying to heal mr maxwell ah it has gone it's the, the memory in the aura field is weak the aura field needs building up there and that's how they sneaked in okay so i'll give you some I, I'll, i'm going to send you some of my prana energy build up your aura field there what are we gonna do about the implants oh i've got to get rid of them but... yeah <laughs> so long there. one thing at a time <laughs> oh yeah i need two brains i know you're getting tired Not really. Appreciate this after three hours for sure. At least it wasn't Australia last week. That was a long day. It's four four a.m. for me. Oh. It, when I go in an implant, I watch it because sometimes they booby trap 
deliberately because they know I'm, I'm going in the team. We had one once to the sun, a central on the, on the boat. I'm not going in this time. I'm just going to send a load of white light in, into it. I think that's a good idea. I, I'm too good. <laughs> two, two, two or three is okay. I'm not oh, it's the same place. <sighs> I'm so near me brown energy now. Can you feel that? Yeah. I actually felt something like a minute ago that was like crawling up my back, like it was running away. <laughs> Everyone in black spiders in the right. Mm. Little gooey things, yeah. It's creator energy going then um, mm-hmm. down your spine, across your hips, and down your legs now. That done, Deb. And, uh, this energy stays for a week. Drink a lot of water. Phil, the card. And card. I'm chocolate and chocolate. Tell him when. Stop. Uh, listening so this confirms you are listening use your knowledge for intuition but they're giving you everyone's balance so they know you're busy if you need help oh i haven't got the telephone in the room. <laughs> thank you so much okay really is there any more no card okay now is sharon meet, meet bonnie hi sharon hi uh, real yeah. uh, hello everyone hi hello brother hey. You want a healing? Yes, please, hon. Okay. Or a scan is what Bonnie's saying. Okay. This is new to me. We'll do. Yeah, both, really. Okay. um, What the scan is telling me is you've got neck issues, shoulder issues. I'm picking the shoulder. Got something going on with your stomach, your hips. And something to do with your feminine, uh, your, maybe your, your bladder. Is something going on with your bladder? I've had so many medical issues. They thought I was going to die in 2012, but I made it out. So, and I, I don't take any kind of medications anymore. So I'm just on heaven's gifts. Oh, cool. So I'm trying to reheal my body from all the damage of all the surgeries and things that they get done. Okay. You may feel some warmth or some energy going through your body so between Phil and Rick and I as as we heal your body okay yes please thank you also see you may have some sinus issues uh, seasonal i i wake up every day feeling like i've been in a swimming pool and have the ears problems and sneezing and coughing yeah it's like chronic sinusitis yes if you feel i'm trying to do like a detox using the 11 check okay how do you feel? I uh, feel so much better. Thank you, Phil. And you are such a beautiful soul to touch with. Thank, thank you. you for sharing the energy with me. Thank that, you. that is so special. And Deb and Rick, thank you. You're very well. I haven't welcome. felt the love in quite a while. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Drink a lot of water this week. Those healings last for seven days. Just to, just to let you know what the energy you had was from the, the White Sea of the Underworld, the Goddess of the Earth. You had like a, a semi-blessing like that. Uh, so yeah, oh. like can you repeat that again? I'm sorry. The white side of the underworld is a goddess of the earth, and she was like blessed you during that. Day. Thank you very much, honey, and I felt your soul as well. Thank you. Thank you. You are beautiful ones. Thank you. Seriously. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm gonna give her a card. Yes, please. She's asking me. May you please pull uh, pull a card for yeah, me? I know. Say stop. Yes, please. Whenever. Uh, I don't know if you've heard of this person before, Archangel Michael. <laughs> Archangel Michael. <laughs> and divine timing. So uh, Archangel Michael, he's with you. So uh, he's with you. He's pres- he'll make his presence uh, shown. And he's, he's a symbol of courage. You need courage. So if you want courage, he'll give it you. And divine timing. Your prayers are being answered by universal law. So they are perfect, Carter. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Stay, everybody. Thanks, Bless everybody. You. You're welcome. Thank you. Bless everyone. Bye, Deb. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> you don't actually have anyone in the list now. Okay, great. All mm-hmm. right. Well, that is all. Next week, Saturday, is our Healing for Pets. Mm-hmm. Same time as this webinar. So if you have any pets that are ill, uh, any type, any type of pet, cow, dog, cat, bird, mm-hmm. we will be here next week at the same time. Yeah, you don't need to bring him in your living room, the cow. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to. You, you can't him. help it. I went outside to walk the dog and had ladybug. <laughs> you, can bring a, you can bring a photo. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at the end of the pet one, we we do adults if you want pets come first. Yes, yeah. If if we're done early and uh, you have somebody that's ill, uh, you can. We'll do humans afterwards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was thank great you. seeing everybody. Good seeing you. We thank you love so you much. too. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great week. See you later, Phil. Thank you. Much love, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye, Deb. Bye, everyone.